All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Masterpiece Ramjet, which is the uh, one of the newer members of our successful uh, giveaways. Um, so as you can see, we got two uh, Ramjets sitting here. So awesome, awesome. Um, get the get one of them out of the way. <sighs> And then just look at the box here real quick. You got the uh, product image there. Kind of hard to see the whole thing in the screen. Uh, so you get the nice product shot here. On the top, you got the uh, same product shot there. The black background on that side. Stuff down here. Black background. And the back has the actual you know product images of all the things that we, we already know that they can do because it's the masterpiece seeker mold with some heavy retooling on it um it comes with the uh instruction booklet so you get the nice artwork here i, I would have liked the artwork on the front of the box but that's just my current stick on the back you got a silhouette of the ramjet and then the collector card if you're into those, it is there. And then the last little accessory that he comes with that is kind of a throwaway is the little clear pilot guy. Um, so, yeah. Yay. Well, again, if you're into that. Um, and then we have the actual ramjet. So there he is in his jet mode. We're going to go from jet to, um, to bot mode. Um, on this one just because just because um, time restraints and such uh, one thing I want to point out and I know I've pointed this out before so here's Cl classics prime um, obviously robot mode wise he wouldn't scale with that um, but if you have like the clear pilot guy looks like he could sit in there and drive the semi truck so um, if you're a stickler on alt mode scale um, I, I think MP Seekers is probably a good one to go with Chug. Regular Chug, not even large Chug, just regular Chug. That's not my thing. I go for bot mode um, scale. Alright, so here we have uh, it in his jet mode. Um, they did, um, they remolded the wings. Um, and the uh, missile pods there and this whole top section is all remolded um, these pieces here is remolded um, and yeah so he's got the wheels in the back and the wheel in the front so it does roll but this one as you see this one's pretty loose on the front so it's like uh, if you start going backwards it just collapses on itself <clears throat> so that my friends is what we call mold degradation where things start loosening up and not quite what they were when they first came out because this is let's see there's the mp starscream sky warp thundercracker um the hasbro starscream and then a g1 starscream through takara then they did the mp11 the retool starscream sunstorm Skywarp, Thundercracker, for Takara, uh, now Ramjet, um, and then the Thundercracker, Acid Storm, Sunstorm, and Starscream for Hasbro. So this is now the 14th time this mold has been used, um, and you know, yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, you can open this panel up here um, from this side. Open that up, and then you can fold that in, close that up. And then you can take these and close these up, just like so. Uh, when you're pulling these out, um, you know, trying to get them from this angle is really hard. So if you just kind of push them a little bit right here and then open it, it helps out immensely. Um, so... 
So uh, here he is. Uh, you see white plastic, not painted, which is a shame because like this, this piece here is painted and it looks just awesome. The rest of it is just white plastic. Um, coming down here, white plastic. You got black paint going over here, white plastic, and then white paint here and here. Which again looks really, really, really nice. Um, and it's not really coming off very well on camera, but in person, it's it's very noticeable. Um, and then it's got the red wings. Um, really nice remold job there on those wings. Uh, glaring yellow seat. Um, kind of wish it was just the same gray, um, but it does stick out, um, especially in bot mode. Um, and yeah, uh, there you go. Looks good. I, I like it. I like this a lot. Um, you know, if I were, were, if there were more figures like this, I'd be torn on keeping them in alt mode um, as opposed to bot mode because this looks good. But then again, this keeps it from being on its wheels. Um, and he doesn't come with a display stand, which, you know, is very unfortunate because I, I think they should be coming with a display stand. For the cost, this should come with a display stand. Um... Outside of that, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, this just piece, this piece is loose too. Um, just completely loose. So how's the, how's this one? That one seems okay. All right, so let's get this guy transformed, shall we? So we can get to the giveaway. So the first thing you want to do is pull this section here off, and then. This section here will slide off like so, and then plug those in, just like so. And then there's the uh, little boosters that go under the wings. So it's all black plastic with some nice little paint going on there. <clears throat> Same thing on this side. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is you want to pull this out of the wing here and then and then you open that up so you just attach those back together and then while these things are all connected uh, you could take this and kind of plug it in so you just have the regular null rays but it it, it starts pulling the wing apart so it, it's a little unfortunate that they couldn't have found a way to get the null rays to work too because this is how I would prefer it is with the, just the null rays not the big missile pods but uh, I suppose you could just have them sitting off to the side not plugged in whatever so move these out like so oh um he also does have the little opening canopy thing right here just like that all right and then what you want to do is Split the legs and then you slide them down. Just like so. They feel a little loose, but they lock in just fine. And then coming to the other side here, you want to flip this down. This is also pretty loose. Um, kind of gives me a little concern on stability. This also feels a little loose too. Um, I know you could dismantle the leg and get to this joint to tighten this up, um, but this is a hinge, so I don't know how you fix that. But I guess should be fine. Should be fine. Um, and then you want to take the knees and fold them down so that this piece comes up. Rotate around. Uh, this one, a little loose, not quite as bad as this one. Just like that. Open this piece here up, and then you flip down the heel spur, close it up. That doesn't lock in as tightly as the previous ones. That one did. This one just doesn't. All right, and then you take the wings here, and they slide up a little bit. And you want to take this piece here these are really tight 
open this up, rotate this around, close it back up. So you got the flush wing going on there. Pretty cool. Feels a little loose, but once you lock it in, it seems fine. And it's just like that is. I, I highly recommend getting a tool when you're doing this because I, I cracked a fingernail trying to pry this thing out earlier. All right. So move it back a little bit. And then what you want to do here is take these piece, these wing pieces here, and they fold onto the back of the jet. This is a really tight joint, and I do not like this, um, but it will go. Oh, of course it went just fine that time. Huh, maybe it was just that first go. Okay, <laughs> okay that doesn't seem to be a problem at all. <laughs> it was a major problem the first time I did it. Um, all right, and then rotate the arms out, and then they rotate up like this. And then you want to take this chest assembly here and just like regular MP seekers, my hand's not in the way, you just open it up. This will rotate down. This will rotate down. Just like so. Pull this assembly here out and up like so. Rotate the shoulders down. Like this, trying to keep everything out of the way of itself. Like that. Now, for the nose cone, um, you want to um, pull this assembly here down. And then you take this assembly, kind of clear it out of the way. And then it rotates like this. This is really clever, because um, none of the other MP seekers did this. So they had to re-engineer this whole section to get this to work, uh, which is pretty cool. And then this will feed through here, like that, like a regular seeker. Line this up down here. Just trying to get everything out of the way. And you want to slide this down. And then this assembly just will collapse down and what's it doing here? I'm trying to keep everything out of the way while you're doing this. It's easier said than done. And then it just kind of frictions in place. It doesn't really lock, but as you can see, it's much better than previous MP seekers when it comes to that. So that's pretty cool. All right. On the hinge. All right, now you want to take this piece here and just kind of fold this up like that. This piece will fold up like this. Um, this no longer has a place to tab into on the back of the cone. Um, oh, this, you can take this and should be able to, no, you can't. Ah, can't do that no more. This used to collapse in. Um, you used to be able to push it into the canopy but now you can't so I guess you just have to leave this all hanging on the back not not secured anywhere all right rotate the arm forward flip the hand down null rays will come around like so and then this will collapse up and there's your null rays um, you know there's a little bit of paint on the null rays which is nice Here, rotate this around, collapse this up, just like 
so. And then you rotate the head. Or you can flip it out or, or rotate it like that. And then this will come around like this. And it just kind of sits on the back here. And there is Masterpiece Ramjet in bot mode. And yeah. Well, I'm going to slide the wings down just a little bit. Now, see, they don't lock in really. Unless you go all the way down, and then you're creating a kind of a gap issue there. I guess that would kind of work. No, I don't like it. Mm. Checking the back of the box to see if those wings look like they rotate at all. They do. Yes, they do. All right, so these do rotate back. They're just a tight joint. Um. I'm not gonna mess with that. That does not feel. Oh, that one went. This one, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to break it. I don't want to break it. All right. All right. So, um, what we have here is kind of a fiddly guy. Um, things I have instant, well, let's go to possibility first. Uh, head is on a ball joint, so it looks left and right, up and down. Seems a little bit big for its uh, for the size of the body, but you know what can you do? Uh, and then because of transformation, this you can get it like this if you need to. Um, yeah. Um, shoulders ratchet up and down, swivel in and out. Um, there is a bicep swivel, double bend elbow, hand rotates, thumb is on a ball joint, index fingers on a ball joint. Um, the rest of the fingers are also on a ball joint, and they all have one hinge. Same thing as a regular MP Seeker. Um, the waist has just the tiniest little swivel, um, pretty much worthless. Uh, legs can rotate up about that far. It's probably about all you need. They don't really go back any, out about that far. Um, it's got a knee joint. And then the feet have a swivel here and a little bit of a tilt. And then the heel has just a little bit of a tilt as well. Uh, all in all, um, he's, uh, he's good. I mean, he'll do the job. Um, I'd say if you have like the um, eye gear seeker mold already, maybe, uh, maybe not trade up yet. This thing is just fiddly. Um, see, my problem here is just there's so much stuff. Um, and it's it's worse than a regular seeker because the regular seekers, the wings come up on the back. Um, so they're not quite hindering the legs at all. Um, the, I mean, yeah, they have their... I wish I had an MP seeker handy, um, which I don't. I sold them all because I, didn't, I don't like MP seekers that much. Um, I'll probably end up getting this guy because he's selling out fast and I don't want to miss out. Um, but, yeah. Um, you know, on the regular MP Seeker, you know, this all locks in pretty tightly and it's a nice little backpack, but this is not locking in. I mean, you can see it's, I mean, it's, so this is kind of in the way. This is kind of <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, I don't know, guys. Um, knee pads are way too big. Way too big. They're 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 noticeably too large. I do not like the way they look. Um, I, I no. Um, the wings are nice, but like like this hinge works fine. This hinge doesn't seem to want to go, and 
it's not my figure so you know whoever gets it can probably try and pop that out of place um if you really want to um but i, I don't want to i don't want to break somebody else's figure i'm trying to look in there see if there's stress marks forming doesn't look like it all right no it doesn't look like it <coughs> all right uh so yeah um oh and then these fold up for the missile pods yay yay team uh, Oh, um, I'm not happy with it. Um, he'll do the job of what you need him to do, but he's not, he's not spectacular. He's not in par with regular Masterpiece figures. Um, he's not even, I wouldn't even put him in par with like Shockwave and Hot Rod or Trax even. Um, he's got too much kibble going on, not enough stable joints to keep that kibble out of the way and nothing holding half the kibble into place um it's unfortunate oh you could take these <laughs> be, you know in case you you weren't kibbled up enough you can plug those in back here and have more kibble on the back so that's yeah, that's great um yeah uh <sighs> for 180 dollars I, I not worth the price point. I, not at all. Sixty dollars, yes. And for those of you that are wondering where I come up with the idea of a sixty-dollar piece for this price point, would, this would be is the um, Hasbro MP11s that are sold in Toys R Us are sixty dollars. That's worth. This is worth that sixty bucks. Um, other than that, um, you know, I, I really. You know, if you're a huge Ramjet fan, you know, definitely get them. Um, if you need to have all the Seekers, definitely get them. But um, outside of that, like, if he sells out and he goes on the aftermarket for an insane price, do not, do not go for it. Uh, it's not with Toy World's one looming. I know that one might be too big, but too big is better than this mess. Um, so I'm going to give him a, um, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Um, he's decent. He's not great. Um, yeah. I, I, mm. All right. So let's get on with the giveaway because I know that's why you guys are really only watching my videos, right? All right. So we got our bucket, and I've got two sets of tickets because we did this in two sets. Um, so the first one, and there are forty-two tickets sold for each one. Um, so we'll start at the beginning. Ryan L. got one ticket. Set this up here. Tim M. got one, two tickets. Uh, Kevin H. got one, two tickets. Matthew B. got one, two, three, four, five tickets. He just won Shockwave, so I have to, I have to root against you, Matt. I'm sorry. Uh, Tom W. got one, two, three, four tickets. Scott B. got one, two, three, four, five tickets. Uh, Yannan M. got one, two, three tickets. Eddie R. got two tickets. Daniel M. got one ticket. Tom M. got two tickets. Uh, Saji A. got two tickets. Tony R. got one ticket. Dave J. got two tickets. Ryan G. got two tickets. Jonathan W. D. got one, two, three, four, five tickets. Dan MS got one ticket, and then Arvin C got two tickets. All right, so that's the first giveaway. 
Um, like I said, we did this, instead of doing two at a time, um, I did it one. So this is the first giveaway. And then the second giveaway got, um, it's, it's just a complete separate giveaway, really. So shake this up. I don't have my phone with me, so I can't do the drum roll. Masterpiece Ramjet is Admit One. I'm just kidding. Uh, Yannan M. Yannan M. I don't think you've won anything yet. Uh, so you won the Masterpiece Ramjet. Um, if I remember correctly, I think you're out of country. So it, um, but I can't remember. Um, hit me up. Uh, as soon as you can, so I can get this uh, packed up for you and shipped out. Um, and yeah, um, so thanks again for everybody that entered the first one. And then for the second one, here we go. Going right for the second one. Um, all right, Jonathan WD got two tickets. Uh, Raphael O got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tickets. Oscar A got one, two, three, four tickets. Matthew B got one, two, three, four tickets. I paid for his tickets. Different deal. Uh, Ryan L got one ticket. Uh, Arvin C got one, two, three, four tickets. Tyler F got one, two, three tickets. Uh, Mike R got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tickets. Uh, really, really wanted this figure, I guess. Don't know why. Uh, ben G got three tickets, and then T A. Uh, I already contacted him. He actually bought four tickets, but uh, uh, I I sold too many, or he bought eight tickets and I sold too many, so uh, I hooked him up with a ticket for Ferrorex instead. So he got four tickets for this one. Again, I apologize. All right. Watch, he's the winner. <laughs> Feel bad, so I buy him. <laughs> I buy him a ticket for Feral Rex, or switch it over to Feral Rex, and he's the winner. All right, and the winner of the Ramjet is Mike R. Mike R, you won Ramjet. So congratulations to Mike R and Yannin. Yannin? Yannin? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. Um, so, yeah. So congratulations to Mike R and Yannin. Um, you guys get uh, the Ramjets. And then in case anybody's questioning because I had somebody question uh, the other day like oh you probably just sneak in whoever you want to win name in there um, so you can see there's all the tickets are there um, I don't cut out um, although um, after this one um, I want I wanted to ask you guys a question real quick how would you guys feel if I did the um, review of these figures you know like I normally do but do the giveaways and maybe do a live show. Uh, I don't know how to do live shows, um, but I'd be happy to take a look and see if I can figure out how to do that. Um, so I do the drawing live as opposed to record it. Um, so I, I had a couple people questioning 
it. So, what do you guys think? Um, uh, do you think a live show would be cool? Um, or at least for the giveaways? Uh, maybe I could do all the... I mean, I, we only do one giveaway a week, usually. Um, <laughs> <coughs> which is actually pretty cool, because we're actually getting to a point where we can do a giveaway a week. Um, but, I don't know. Let me know uh, if you guys think that would be kind of fun. Um, I know everyone's schedule is their own schedule, but it would, yeah, I'd record it live and then it would be on, on YouTube, so anybody available uh, could watch it live. Uh, anyway, um, there you go. Oh, with my schedule, that might be hard. Anyway, uh, there you go. There is the Ramjet. Uh, like I said, uh, I, don't, I, I don't not recommend him. I just don't think he's... Uh, I know he's not worth $180, um, but I've been saying that about the MP Seekers for a long time. I don't think they're worth $200 or $200 plus dollars for some of them. Um, you know, 60 bucks, you know, 120 for exclusives. You know, that, that sounds fair to me, but $200, $180 for this one. I, I don't think it's worthwhile. And, and, you know, Takara, I mean, are you really sitting there proud of yourself for this? I mean, it's not a bad figure by any means. I'm just saying. I mean, are you are you proud that you made that? Um, oh, and I forgot to do the size comparison, but here he is with the car, and here he is with Prime. So there you go. Um, you know, see, I'd be proud of that, and I'd be proud of that. I'd be a little disappointed in myself if I made that. Just saying. Just saying. 